I right, got another centerfire rifle caliber comparison here for you today. We're going to shoot these cantaloupes um, here soon when I can find the larger watermelons as they come into season. I'm going to do big watermelons with all these. Uh, but we're going to hit them with these four common calibers. So we'll start out with 223556. I'm going to send that through this uh, Bear Creek Arsenal upper here. I have a review video on that. I'll put a link in the description for that if you want to check it out. Uh, then next up, we'll do 762 by 39, which is the AK round. I'm going to send that through my 762 by 39 Anderson there. I'll put a link in the description, review video on this rifle as well if you want to check it out. Also, this is pretty batty little scope. Um, 1 to 6 by 24 uh, LPVO, you know, a little tactical scope. You know, most brands that get a 1 to 6, uh, they're at minimum 200 some odd dollars and way up from there. Uh, this is by Easy Shoot. Uh, I've been playing around with it. I already have a review video out on that. I'll put a link in the description for the review video on this if you want to check it out. But uh, only about $120, real good reviews. I'm extremely happy with it. Super clear glass, true to magnification. So really can't beat it for the money. Check that out. Then we're going to go 270 Winchester out of my Ruger American. I'll put a link in the description for the review video on that. And then 450 Bushmaster Mossberg Patriot. I'll put a link in the description for the review video on that rifle. Also, guys, I got a 500-yard video with this 762 by 39 Anderson shooting 500 yards accurately. Um, I already have this BCA 556 up around the 400 accurately. I have 500 coming up. I haven't done any long range with the 270 yet, but I have a 4 and 500 video uh, accurately again with this 450 Bushmaster here. Uh, so. Check those out if that's something that interests you. If you guys can't find it by searching, just leave me a comment and I'll put a link down for you if you want to go check it out. But I already got a bunch of links in the description, so I don't want to spam it too much. Uh, so obviously these are all going to blow up. So it's just for fun. Uh, but we're going to set it out there on that stump 15 yards and we'll see which one blows up the most, I guess. Um, so the 5.56 and the 7.62 by 39, these are both uh, FMJs. So you got 55 grain here and 122 grain there. And then we have expanding bullets here for the 270 and the 450. Um, part of the reason I did this is because availability of what I have. But also, I think the majority of guys are probably running FMJ and their ARs for these two calibers. So that'll be a good comparison there, FMJ to FMJ between those. Uh, 270, you, I've never seen FMJ for that. So typically it's always a soft point or a hollow point. Uh, actually like 80, 90% of the times it is a soft point. And then the 450 Bushmaster here is a ballistic tip. Kind of the same thing on those. Unless you buy specialized rounds, there is no FMJs for those that I'm aware of. They're all expanding, you know, hollow points or ballistic tip like this or whatever. So, so for these two little guys, we got FMJ. And then for the two big boys here, we got expanding bullets. I'm going to be interested to see, again, what happens between the first two calibers, the uh, 5.56 and 7.62 by 39. I did a pumpkin video a while back, and uh, people were making excuses. The 7.62 by 39 has more energy, so a lot of people think... You know, it's more powerful, it's more damaging, does more damage and all that. And mathematically and on paper, it is more powerful. It does have a little bit more energy than the 5.56. However, with that lighter bullet, the 5.56 is going much faster. So on soft targets like these, at least, and you got to think, you know, animals and bad guys have soft flesh. So um, from everything I've seen, the 223 5.56 hits soft targets a lot harder, at least with a lot more initial explosive damage than 762 by 39 does. So I don't know if we'll see that here today because these are such small fruit. Uh, but there's only one way to find out. And I will give it though, uh, 762 by 39, it does penetrate farther than a 556 5 will. So it does have that and it does uh, indeed have more energy. It's just going a lot slower. So anyways, let me get this set up. We'll get started. Like I said, I'll put them on a stump out there at 15 yards. We'll go in order. Um, 556, 762 by 39, 270 Winchester, and then 450 Bushmaster. Huh, I thought it would blow up. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot, by the way, I got a bunch of more videos coming up. Not only with centerfire rifles, but shotguns and pistols as well. 
Um, I thought I missed for a second, but I see the giant hole in it. So not at all what I was expecting. We're shooting watermelons that were larger than this with pistols um, in a previous video. And uh, the pistols were blowing the watermelons up. So these uh, cantaloupes are just a lot more resilient. And you see that's a perfect shot right in the center. So, wow, that's crazy. So yeah, I mean, a watermelon, a bigger watermelon would have completely blown up from that. Um, so that's interesting. That's neat. So I, I guess we will get a pretty good comparison here today, at least between the 762 by 39 and this 556 here. Way less damage. <laughs> hey, I think I like these uh, green cantaloupes for caliber comparisons because they don't just completely blow up. But a uh, much smaller hole. Let's we'll see what the back looks like. Obviously, it wasn't disturbed very much because it didn't roll off. I've seen handguns do more than that. Come on. So, yeah, FMJs do this. Not doing jack, but look at the huge difference between the AK round 762 by 39 and the AR. That has to settle it. Come on, AK guys. So, like I said, uh, the 556 round is much more damaging immediately um, even though the AK round the 762 by 39 has more energy and a bigger bullet but you can see what the much higher velocity does so that's immediate damage um, you know but whatever critter you're shooting or you know let alone enemy I mean that's what it does to him as soon as it hits him now the difference is like I said up there the AK will penetrate further and it carries its energy longer but the 556 it dumps its energy like crazy but personally, if I'm not like trying to shoot through a barrier or anything, I'm going with that. Now, I'm going to assume that the 270 and the 450 being much more powerful and have expanding bullets, it's just going to completely disintegrate them, but there's only one way to find out. Now, keep in mind also, remember those first two there, they were FMJs. Had you used hollow point or ballistic tip with those two, it would have been a much different result. I'm pretty positive both of them would have absolutely blown them up if they were hollow point or ballistic tip ammunition. But again, the 5.56, it still would have done more damage. So you probably would have seen a lot bigger explosion with a hollow point or a ballistic tip than with the 762 by 39 with one. I mean, that's just my analogy, but you know, I guess we'll, we'll have to test that out one day. So there's all this controversy between those two calibers. I'm um, working on attaining like 350 Legend and 300 blackout and whatnot as well, so I'll have tests on those coming up. But yeah, I'm definitely going to test that then with expanding ammo between those two. So, at least with uh, FMJ ammo, you can see there's actually a pretty big difference. That threw stuff way bigger. Oh. Uh, 450 Bushmaster, it's 2,600 foot-pounds of energy. 270 is right around 27, so I think 270 is actually a little more powerful technically on paper. 
but that bullet design and or caliber there on that soft target made a difference. She at least hits harder on a cantaloupe, we know that. Now see, this is a complete opposite effect of what we just seen between the 5.56 and the 7.62 by 39, because on the those first two calibers, the 5.56 did more damage. Uh, it was going much faster and it tore a much bigger hole. However, it's flipped around on this one because the 270 is the much faster round in this case, yet the heavier and slower round uh, between these two did more damage than the lighter and faster round. But that's coming down to the bullet design there. The 270 is a soft point, whereas the 450 Bushmaster there was a ballistic tip. The ballistic tip bullets tend to expand more rapidly, um, plus it being a, a larger caliber probably helped out as well. But that's why you're seeing a flip-flop um, results here between these two. So it was actually really important that both of those uh, 5.56 and 762 by 39 were FMJ for an actual real close comparison to see the difference between the two uh, cartridges there because the bullet design was the same. Because you can see here clearly between uh, the 270 and the 450, the heavier and slower round is doing more damage, but that's almost for sure because of that ballistic tip bullet. So I think there's no point really going down there and looking. There's like big chunks from the 270 and a bunch of little tiny shredded chunks everywhere that are thrown in a lot larger radius from the 450. Um, again, I'll have these coming up here, pistol, shotgun, and the rifles here. Uh, if I forgot to mention it, I'll have a caliber comparison playlist up by now, so go check that playlist out to see what you missed. Again, links in the description for the review video on these rifles in that upper. Uh, like I said, I also have long range videos with them. If you can't find that, just leave me a comment down below and I'll give you the link. So that does it for this one. I want to thank you for stopping by, and I hope to catch you on the next one.